You guys remember what it was like when you were kids? Going to Beemaw's house, falling asleep in front of the stairs. Ah! We gotta play some more Mario 64. Growing up, I always considered, like, stairs in houses to be, like, a luxury. Because I live in an area in Florida which doesn't have a lot of two-story or higher houses. You have a lot of apartment buildings and things, but like a second story on your house is not very common where I live. I, it was explained to me once that it has to do with uh, the frequency with which we get hurricanes and things, like high winds and storms and things, but like if you go to the beach, which is about 10 minutes from where I live, excuse you, get on this pillar, Mario. Yeah, if you could go down to St. Pete Beach, we're 10 minutes away from my house, and, like, the places where the most storm and hurricane damage could potentially happen, there's all these, like, 400-story high-rise condos. So, I don't know. We just don't have a lot of two-story house. I certainly don't have a two-story house. Welcome to the Vanish Cap level. This is where we're going to get red coins in Vanish Cap Land. I think I missed one. I think I already screwed this up. I, I did. I screwed it up already. So here's what we have to do. Is do a running long jump off... Ow. That didn't work. Ow. Yeah. You know, we'll just jump in this hole. It just puts us right back outside by the moat. And in Mario 64... You can regain all your health just by swimming to the top of the surface of water. Because being underwater saps your health. Later Mario games obviously would introduce an oxygen mechanic. And it would sap that instead. And I think you'd only start losing health once you were completely out of oxygen. The flip side of that being you can no longer get your health back just by poking your head up out of the water. There's one level where that's not true in this game. And it's one of my least favorite levels, but it has one of my favorite stars. If you are a Mario 64 connoisseur, you will know what level that is. And you'll be thinking, what star from that level does Rick Rickler really, really like? And I would tell you, dear viewer, but wouldn't that ruin the surprise? Wouldn't you rather just wait? and enjoy falling into this hole for the second time. Those don't count as deaths. Don't don't leave a comment down there saying, Bricker, you didn't in, like increase your death counter. Because those don't count as deaths. They kick you out of the level. They don't actually kill you. You don't see the Bowser head and everything else. So they don't they don't count. But thank you again. Like I said last video, I appreciate when people look out for me the way that they do. Ow. It doesn't matter if you take damage. There's a red coin that you get right there. Are you curious as to how many lives I have? I am too. I don't know. I put the death counter over the life counter, so you can't know unless you've been actually just watching the videos and counting every one up that I've picked up. Why don't we make that our little guessing game for the rest of the Let's Play? In each video, guess how many lives you think I have. It's a lot. We're not going to get anywhere near a game over in Mario 64. <laughs> and then the person who guesses most correctly while the videos are being uploaded will... They'll win absolutely nothing. I'm not going to give a prize for that. That's not... Not really an acceptable prize, I don't think. One more red coin. Or as I like to call them... Rad coins. I, nobody calls them that. Especially not me. Especially not me. They're not that rad. I think Mario Maker calls them pink coins, even though they're not pink. You, you know the official names of some Mario Maker stuff because there's like a robot voice that announces what you're placing as you place it. That tries to kind of like stay in tune to the muted music they have for the maker sections. I don't know, it's hard to describe if you've never played Mario Maker, but if you have played Mario Maker and you've never noticed this, pay very close attention while you're placing blocks to, like, the robot sound that the game makes when you put down just one block. 
That's how you know stuff is called like semi-solid platforms. And I'm pretty sure the little robot voice is saying pink coin, even though they're clearly red. Oh, you know what? They might be saying key coins, not pink coins. Thank you for finally double jumping after like seven tries, Mario. I really appreciate it. You're a bro. Total bro. Stay up on the platform, please. I can't believe the luck that I'm having in the Vanish Cap. I think I've spent longer on Vanish Cap now than I have on Wing Cap, and that's just... sad. That's just monumentally sad. I'm not gonna have time to do an actual level with like a hundred coin star and stuff. Like, it's gonna be just this for 20 minutes. That would not be the saddest thing I've ever done in Mario 64. So I streamed this game before. And I might have to find a link to the video. I'm not sure. I'm, it must still be up. I have a, a viewer by the name of Not a Butt Face. Shout outs to Not a Butt Face. But he did some compilation videos from some of my Mario streams, one of which was Mario 64. And I spent so long getting one of the more aggravating. Can I just... There we go. Got it. Uh, there's one 100 coin star in particular that is kind of aggravating. Okay, I want to focus here. All I've got to do is jump off this platform and I'm good. I can't believe it. I had one job. One job. <laughs> but the level I'm thinking of plays this music and I was stuck there for three hours trying to get the 100 coins. So I hadn't done a test play for Mario 64 before I streamed it. Apparently, I am even less respectful of my stream audience's time as I am for yours, my YouTube audience, which seems irresponsible now that I'm saying it out loud. Like, I owe you all an apology. But anyway, he coined the level that I was stuck in to be Banjo Hell because it plays his banjo music the entire time. Ah, memories. I did a test play before, actually two test plays, before recording Super Mario 64 for YouTube. Not that you could tell. All right, we're gonna get it right this time. It's gonna be great, you'll see, you'll see. Jump to this one, jump to this one. There, let's just do that again. Mario. Mario, why? Why, Mario? Ugh. Welcome to Vanish Cap. I thought that Sky Cap was going to be the one that, that really nailed me to the wall, not Vanish Cap. I guess it makes sense, though, because it's never the thing that you practice that ends up being the thing you can't get in the actual recording. It's never the thing you're most worried about. That's been my experience. Anyway. Which kind of defeats the whole purpose of doing test play, you would think. Can we get up here? I actually liked that backflip move. Maybe that's how I'm going to do it. The problem is that the platforms rotate as they get to the top. So... You have to get off of them before that starts to happen. Look, what? today. Uh, you can't just stay on the platform, and I, you, you have to kind of judge when they're going to start to rotate and jump off of them, but if you jump too early, you don't get enough height to collect the red coins that are up there. And as a result, maybe I should go into Mario cam mode. Put the camera behind me, maybe? I kind of like having the side view. Yeah, you know what? We'll just stick to the cutie mode. 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start getting experimental with my camera tricks this late in the game. Ow! It's always tricky trying to double jump onto a platform while you're running towards it because if you miss jump, if you miss time your jump, you just bang your head against the wall. Alright, so that one we're gonna have to wait. Jump to this one and then just fall on this one. That worked fine. We made it, guys. Oh, how happy are you? How happy are you that we finally got there? <laughs> and that's the third and final cap. All we have to do now is get this cap without falling off the level. And then get the star without jumping off the level. Here we go! Yahoo! Now let's go do one of the most fun levels in the game. So the very, very first time I played Super Mario 64, back in 1996, at Target, I had rollerbladed down there. They had the little kiosk set up. This was the level that was booted up into the game. And... I mean, I say that, you don't even know what level I'm going towards yet. Will you please double jump, Mario? Thank you. Thank you for finally doing what I asked. I did mention spending hours and hours figuring stuff out. Like little shortcuts and stuff. Watch this, because I figured this out. Like, if you go in here and then run and jump, you can totally skip that whole area back there and just get up to this door right away. Maybe you got to be running a little faster. This I didn't practice, because I didn't want to do it in the Let's Play, but... It's totally possible, I promise. It's totally possible. No, 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 we're getting this. I've already wasted an hour and a half in Vanish Cap. We're doing this here now. <laughs> anyway. Because I was like, yeah, I wonder if you can just get up there without having to go all the way around. It doesn't gain you anything. There we go. I told you. I told you you could get up there. And so you can. Nobody doubted me. Everybody was like, yes, Brickard, we know. We know you can get up there. In fact, everybody's probably like, yeah, Brickard, all you gotta do is BLJ and you can go right through the door. Yahoo! BLJ stands for backwards long jump. It's a speedrunning trick. It lets you get super speed and blah, 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 blah. I'm not good at that. We're not gonna be doing any of that. Although I had... I have managed to do it before. Kaboom! Let's go to Big Moose Haunt. Let's do some fun stuff in here. Like, go on a ghost hunt. You guys want to go on a ghost hunt with me? I would love to go on a ghost hunt with you guys today. I mean, you know, my motto is have fun, murder ghosts. By ground pounding them. And also probably falling into this hole over here. A Mario cam. Oh, I can't zoom out Mario cam though, because I just want to run straight across this bridge. Like so. That's all I want. If you try to Lakitu across the bridge, because the camera stays in that fixed position and just kind of pans back and forth, but you can see as I'm running back here, what that means is it changes the relative movement of your control stick across the bridge. So you start out running kind of diagonally across it. And you have to end running straight across it, or else Mario veers to the side of the bridge and falls off. And if that happens, you end up all the way at the bottom of the level, which is a bad place to be. Because there's no monster trucks down there. None. None at all. And that's just a sad fact of life. Shoutouts to Bob for sponsoring this video, and to everybody who helps make my channel possible by supporting me on Patreon.